Nicole Fari began her design career back in the 70s and over a 20 year span has created a solid reputation for herself. We're here at the Royal Opera House to see her autumn winter collection. Nicole Farr has been showing in London for seasons. Do you think the Marie Claire reader can relate to her clothes quite well? Do you think it's something that the Marie Claire reader would buy into? Absolutely. She's a very uh, important British designer for the Marie Claire reader because I think she designs for real women. She's high fashion, but she's, you know, reasonably priced. Um, and you always feel you're getting quality, very British, a little bit of eccentricity and idiosyncrasy. The skirts are a bit fuller, so it's, it's more for the grown-up woman. And what about the coin detailing? Do you think that's something that we might see at some of the shows in Paris and Milan, maybe? Yeah, that seemed quite signature for Nicole this time. There were a lot of coins, a lot of brooches and a lot of details, so that's quite a nice touch. It's dressing up an outfit, making it part of the outfit rather than a separate accessory. So it's quite interesting. I, yeah, I, I would hope that we might see more of that. Well, I, were, I came across a collection of coins uh, six months ago, seven months ago, and uh, some of them were lovely Austrian coins, and it gave me an idea maybe to go and look at uh, Tyrolean clothes or hats or accessories and, uh, and do something on that theme, but obviously much more sophisticated and, uh, and modern. But uh, that was the inspiration to start. What is it about London that you just love and keeps you showing here year after year? Well, I love London. Uh, it's been my home for almost 30 years now, so I've always shown here. I like it. I'm uh, well understood in this country. Uh, people like me. I've built a big business, and I think it's quite right that I remain here. <laughs> Just come out the Nicole Fari show, lots of belted coats all ready for winter. And now we're off to see Marcus Lutfer, head designer at Armand Bassi. We're halfway through London Fashion Week and about to go and see Armand Bassi. With internationally acclaimed designer Marcus Lutfer at the helm, the brand is going from strength to strength. We're about to see their autumn winter show. How do you think the brand has moved on since you've been with them? I think it's a big step for us and uh, basically to, uh, you know, from Barcelona go international, uh, showing in London, uh, hopefully being more relevant in fashion uh, than before, it's like a big step for us. And now, can you give us a little insight into the inspiration behind this autumn winter collection? So there's a lot of like uh, new proportions. I tried to uh, have new volume, nice colours, very jarring colours, um, quite uh, quite an odd combination. And almost every outfit is works together, but it's like a new colour or new uh, new print and uh, quite uh, quite arty almost, quite uh, quite fun. Just seen the Arm and Bassy show. There's lots of um, volume there, lots of felt in both the dresses and the coats. How do you think this is going to translate down onto the high street? Yeah, I think the high street will use lots of volume next season. I think we'll be seeing tulip skirts again and lovely cocoon coats that are so elegant over thin trousers. That show was great fun. There were lots of really great colour combinations. So again, I think we'll be seeing that kind of mad colours and crazy prints again. And the shoes are really good fun as well. So that was the end of day four at London Fashion Week. Two contrasting shows, Nicole Fari and Armin Bassi. But tomorrow we've got even more excitement with Vivian Westwood, Luella and Jenny Packham.